Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now on my channel, we look at everything in a spiritual way around the world and connect it all to the Word of God. <clears throat> Syria and Damascus has a lot of prophecies in the Bible of nearing the day of the Lord or nearing the Great Tribulation if you will the beginning of World War III in the Bible the beginning of the end and Syria plays a big role in that well right now America believe it or not I mean real or faked they there is now a motive with the chemical weapons use even if it was if Syria's Assad did it, or if the CIA of America did it, it doesn't matter. They have established motive. And they have established motive for a World War III by both sides warning each other of Russia and America. And as much as, uh, I mean, we're all human. We don't want to see war. I don't want to see war in any <clears throat> anything going on around the world. But this is all leading towards the end times of the Bible, Scripture being fulfilled through it all. Now on my channel I can I connect these things from all around the world and I even break down a lot of hieroglyphs and things and a lot of these murals they show in the Denver International Airport which shows the leopard here dead which represents Obama and Miss Obama right here dead and then what's known as the Hopi Blue Kachina doll. Well the Hopi Blue Kachina is connected to the dog star Sirius and they have a lot of connections to the prophecies of the Hopis and these gentlemen, the Freemasons and all, they connect all of these together. Like these ten horns over here are part of the, the prophecies in the Bible of ten hordes plucking out three. Basically Obama being killed and America under fire. All when a comet goes by. And we're nearing the time of a comet called I-Sun coming by. But all of this is right here. And the turtle even represents America, known as Turtle Island. They believe that that is where the tree of the tree is planted on the earth, the root of Jesus Christ. And that when all of this goes on, you see how this whale is leaving? That's the rapture. That's the tree, the root being cut from right here. That's the symbolism of this all right here. Well, again, I connect this stuff from all around the world. We see that, we see that they have motive all around. <clears throat> Here is Syria. Now they showed the connections of that the Lord God has made all the worlds and every single thing is controlled. How do they do it? A human being is known as a host. Jesus showed that up to 2,000 spirits could be inside of one host. Not just evil spirits used to host. The, I mean, the angels and everything used human beings. That's why they're called a host. And your crown is not supposed to be given to another. Your temple your for your head you know your temple is your forehead right there that's where the Holy Ghost sits with you but that's the spiritual aspect of all this well right here I mapped this stuff out all around the world this is showing right here Iraq as the dog the dog star Sirius Syria is the mask just like Damascus this is when the mask is removed from the man of perdition and the mask is removed from this dog right here which also represents a way for the rapture because they show the dog star Sirius is what can do the rapture it is the Lord God uses giant stars as machines that's what he has it as this can open the spiral like what Obama saw or what was involved when Obama was in Norway <coughs> You can see this is in the shape of a bull, a perfect mask. And right here, Jordan is in the shape of an angel with wings and a halo. And he is removing this mask, just like this right here. There's the angel with a halo and his wings, and he's taking this muzzle off of this right here. But some, it's when this is a key thing here is Damascus and Syria. Now it doesn't stop there. As humans we want to think that everything stops. We have to realize these are universal creatures controlling everything. Right here you can see Syria as 
a pope. See his face right here? And then you can see up here, Jordan now makes the dragon, the reptile, coming down, going into the Pope when this happens, when the mask is removed. See how he's going right down and into the Pope. It's called the head wound of the Bible. Oops, let's put that there. Put the borders back on so you can see it's right along the lines perfectly. Everything's done like this all across the world. Well, if that's so, then we should be able to see it somewhere else connecting this. Let's go to the Vatican. Right over here to Rome. All roads lead to Rome, they say. This is to show that Syria is a trigger event for the end of the age, for like nuclear war. And not a small thing. As humans, again, we have, I mean, realize our limitations. As humans, we don't want any of this to happen. We will think of it in the smallest scale possible. Always. We will make excuses. It is natural for our human bodies and us to do this. We're creatures in the flesh. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. But here's the key to the Vatican. And now watch what this key opens. This mask right here. Let me get a smaller one. There we go. Oops. This mask is the horns again, just like the bull over it, Damascus and Syria. Exactly. Right there. And it's getting the mark of the beast on his forehead. Syria, as I've said for the last few years, this is a trigger event. This is the trigger to the end when this mask comes off right here. And on that day, I've even shown on hieroglyphs. This is one of Akhenaten and Nefertiti as the leopard, a sphinx, a cat, looking like Obama. Here is the devil when he comes down and he, he pops everything. He blows the nukes. He has America set up to blow up and blame it on Russia. And then here is Russia rising up. And as I keep showing, they keep doing something with the left eye. And Russia has the Vatican, the papacy, in its mouth. The Russian Orthodox Church takes over. And here is the dog star Sirius. Right here, when the devil comes down. His arm is reaching over with a wand, with this electricity, and that is when everybody leaves in this rapture. Over the bear. Right when all of this happens, but we don't know the day or hour. It's, I mean, Damascus. When Damascus falls, this could just be another domino setting up the event of everything. So we have all of this right here. Well, we need something to show that when this happens, we need one more thing at least. I have a very big breakdown of this. This is not small. See the cat right here? Here's the cell. You can't deny this. Boom. See the cat? Perfectly. Right here. When this mask comes off of Damascus and everything's set all around the world now. Where's that one? There we go. The key, the mask comes off Damascus, the mark of the beast begins, and there's the cat, Obama, going up and floating away. Just as we see over here. Obama's supposed to die. It's part of the head wound of the Bible. America gets practically destroyed, not to the ground. It's in Jeremiah 50 of the Bible. Rome, the Catholic Church, is the mystery Babylon. America is the daughter of Babylon. Both fall at the same time. Right when Damascus goes, everything's primed and triggered for everything. There's the cat. You can't fake that. Look at that. Look how perfect that is. Once you see it, see his eyes? It's all in perfect order here when this mask comes off, just as we showed over there at Damascus. Right there. Oops. 
So everything's in accordance and everything's ready all around the world. You know, say your prayers. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath raised him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. All the dominoes are in place all around the world for that mask to come off of that big dog as we just showed. Thank you very much everybody. Hallelujah.